I like riding a bike, and I also value my life, which is why this solid safety helmet is a must. Not bad looking either. A bicycle helmet is constructed of an exterior shell and an interior one of polystyrene foam designed to absorb shocks. Some designs for bicycle helmets are drawn by hand and with computer-aided graphics. The design has to take into account that it is not on a flat surface but on a rounded one. This creates optical deformities that have to be corrected. Fabrication begins with the exterior shell. This polymer sheet is heated in a heat former at a temperature of 65 degrees centigrade. The mold lifts the sheet and suctions it to fill all the cavities of the mold. This operation lasts about one minute and produces four shells. Then, when cooled down and hardened, the four shells are cut by hand. Ventilation openings are cut with a heated wire apparatus. These openings have been preformed during molding of the shell. The heated wire easily and neatly cuts the polymer. Next step, trimming the helmet to eliminate excess polymer. The circumference is manually cut using a router. The edges are then sanded to even them. It is also possible to cut the circumference of the shell with a heated wire. This operation takes more time but is more precise because of the resulting cleaner cut. Now they're going to fabricate the foam interior that will be placed inside the shell. It's made of polystyrene beads that will expand and bond together. This expander increases the volume of the granules that fall into it. Steam and an agitator let the polystyrene beads expand uniformly. The granules are now ready. The contents of this bin will be able to produce about 20 foam pieces, which will take shape on these molds. The press closes up for the six minutes that it takes to mold four foam pieces. The particles fuse with steam before being cooled with water. The foam is removed from the mold. Forms are produced for different helmets. Fusing of the particles has welded the granules to one another. Depending on the helmet model, openings have to be made with this heat iron to allow for installation of an air vent accessory. All that remains is to make the adjustment pads, cut with this press-powered stamper. The adjustment pads are held in with Velcro to allow easy adjustment of the helmet. This allows the cyclist to change the foam pads for greater comfort. Inserting the straps calls for good manual dexterity and takes only a minute. The shell and the polystyrene foam liner have to be joined. They're adjusted one inside the other then solidly secured with adhesive tape. The helmet is now completed. And now it's ready for packaging. The safety helmets have to be certified, guaranteeing their safety and conformity tests are done. At least one helmet in 500 will undergo this destructive test. Here it drops vertically onto a piece of steel. This facility can produce up to 4,000 helmets daily in hundreds of models and over 500 variations. <laughs>